Hi folks, Jim Jones again here. I'd like to take you back for a moment to January the 15th, 1962. I was a junior at Oviedo School. I call it Oviedo School because then it wasn't a high school or an elementary school. It was a grades 1 through 12 school. We were still country then and basically all under, mostly under one roof. Anyway, at the same time, I was settling into Jack Calvert's English class. Navy Lieutenant Charles Hodgate was taking off in his Navy A3D Sky Warrior out of Naval Air Station Sanford. Immediately after taking off, he began having in in engine problems and losing altitude. Uh, he was ordered to uh, bail out if possible and attempt to get back to uh, Sanford. Two Navy A5 vigilante planes joined him as an escort, one on either side of his wing. He was just west of the school when apparently we both saw each other at the same time, and he realized that he could not clear the school building. It was the traditional brick two-story type building that was very tall at the time and uh, would be very difficult to get over. At the same time, he could not crash short because it, the playground was there and it was full of school children, elementary, having recess, higher school, high school kids uh, practicing ball and, and you name it. At the same time, all this happened, saw a parachute come out the plane. So, of course, we all thought it was the pilot and maybe he would be, was going to be saved. Not the case. Again, realizing that he was going to hit the school, and which would have caused a blazing inferno of jet fuel and killed probably hundreds of students. He heroically veered the plane sharply to the right, causing the plane to cartwheel and crash into the Ward Grove. This heroic action saved the lives of many of us. Uh, Novella Allen, my uh, business teacher, said, Jimmy, go over and uh, check on Merton Bill Ward for me. Make sure they're okay, because the plane had crashed right by their house. So she gave me the keys to her car. Again, I was 16 years old, and I drove over, uh, and of course, Bert and Bill were fine, but I was at the crash scene, and it was very obvious there had been no survivors, and there were three deaths. Again, these were heroes that saved the lives of many of us in Oviedo. We're in the process of getting one of those nice railroad uh, roadside markers, bronze markers done, to commemorate this heroic action to be placed at the site of the crash. Stay tuned on this, we'll have more on this later, but I just heard as of yesterday that it looks like this is gonna to come to fruition very soon. Again, thank you and have a good day. Hi folks, uh, I've been asked to add a little bit more to this story. First of all, uh, more about the uh, man who parachuted, the crew member who parachuted. Apparently there was a uh, fourth casual uh, rider on the plane, and he was apparently the one who uh, parachuted from the plane. The parachute did open completely as opposed to some uh, recollections of some people by it, because I watched it, observed it. Uh, it did land in an orange grove and apparently did tangle maybe in an orange tree. But uh, he did survive, and uh, uh, that's about the end of that story. The other thing I was asked to explain was a little bit more maybe about the plane. The plane, the A3D Sky Warrior, was originally designed to be a long-range nuclear bomber. Uh, doing so, it would have flown at high altitudes. Therefore, it was not necessary for it to have an ejection seat. That would have only added weight. Therefore, the only escape from the plane was a bailout system probably the reason more were not able to uh, get out. Uh, the other thing is that I recently contacted the two children of Lieutenant Hodgate. Unfortunately, his uh, widow had already passed, uh, but a couple of interesting things out of that. First of all, the son, whose name is Charles Hodgate, is a musician living in Massachusetts. Uh, his daughter, who he did not know was on the way, she, his wife was two months pregnant, at the time of the accident, so he never knew that she was uh, on the way. Anyway, she is living in North Carolina, and I believe that she's a chemical engineer. Uh, they're very excited to hear about what's going on with the marker. Uh, they have some of the mem they have the memorabilia 
Uh, his father left. They have a copy of the Vito yearbook where it was dedicated to them. They have his flight log and some other uh, comments and memorabilia uh, associated with that. Anyway, I just wanted to add this. Uh, people might find interesting. Thank you.